Hello friends, in today's video we will cover Indus Valley Civilization. Actually, Indus Valley Civilization, Mesopotamian Civilization, Egyptian Civilization and Chinese Civilization. These four civilizations are considered to be world's earliest civilizations. One special thing about these four civilizations is that all these were situated around one or the other river valley. For example, Egyptian civilization developed along the Nile river valley. Mesopotamian civilization developed along Tigris and Euphrates river valleys. Indus valley civilization established along Indus river valley. And Chinese civilization established along Yellow river valley. Yellow River is also known as Huang Ho. But today we will focus on Indus River Valley Civilization, which is considered to be the most extensive civilization among other civilizations. And there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that more than 1500 sites have been found here. And the second reason is that its spread was 1.5 million square kilometers. You may not be able to guess that how much is 1.5 million square kilometers. But if you come to know that the total area of today's India is only 3.2 million square kilometers. So you can figure out how much will be 1.5 million square kilometers. We just got to know that more than 1500 sites have been discovered in the Indus Valley Civilization. But the very first site discovered in the Indus Valley Civilization was Harappa. It was discovered in the year 1921. If you see the location of Harappa in the map, then it is located in that part of Punjab which is now a part of Pakistan. And this site is situated on the bank of River Ravi. Harappa was excavated by Indian archaeologist Daya Ram Shahne. And if we talk about the exact location of this site, then it is in Montgomery district of Punjab. And as we discussed, it is that part of Punjab which is now a part of Pakistan. You can also ask why this site was named Harappa. So once you look at Daya Ram Sahani, how calm and innocent he looks. If there was someone else in his place, he would have named this place after his name. But Daya Ram Shahani did not do this. He saw that the place where these excavations took place, the area around it is called Harappa. So he named this site as Harappa. By the way, he did well because later it was seen that a name similar to this is also mentioned in the Rig Veda and that name is Haryappa. So it seems that this is probably the same place that is also mentioned in the Rig Veda. And because Harappa was that first site that was discovered in the Indus Valley Civilization. So this whole civilization is also known as Harappa Civilization apart from Indus Valley Civilization. Actually, Indus Valley Civilization was named as Harappa Civilization by John Marshall who was a British archaeologist. Now let us cover some more details of Indus Valley Civilization through map. First of all, we can see Indus River in this map and you can also see tributaries of Indus River that is Chelam, Chenab, Ravi, Satluj and Vyas. So the first thing we have to do in this map is that first of all, we have to see that till where was the extent of Indus Valley Civilization. That is, we have to see northernmost site, easternmost site, westernmost site and southernmost site. So let's start. So we can see that here the northernmost site is Manda. Easternmost site is Alamgirpur. Westernmost site is Sutkagen Dor. And southernmost site is Daimabad. Now this Manda is in today's Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Alamgirpur is in Uttar Pradesh. Sutkagen Dor is in Baluchistan. And Daimabad is in Maharashtra. And if you look here in the center, you will see here that there is Ghaggar and Hakra river system. Basically, Ghaggar and Hakra rivers passes through it. And this place has its own separate importance in the Indus Valley Civilization. And that importance is because there are a lot of sites here. And the concentration of sites is maximum here. Means at this place, the density of sites is high. 
which means despite having less space, there are more sites here. And on the top of this, you can see two more important sites, Banavali and Rakhigadi. Both of these sites are in today's Haryana. And an important fact related to the Indus Valley Civilization is that the largest number of sites of Indus Valley Civilizations have been discovered in Haryana. Yes, Haryana is number one in this matter. Now one more thing is to be noted here and that is all major sites are situated on the bank of one or the other river. For example, Manda is situated on the bank of Chenab river. Alamgirpur is situated on the bank of river Hindan. Sutkagendor is situated on the bank of river Dasht. And Daimabad is situated on the bank of river Pravar. Apart from this, if we see on the bank of river Rabi, then the most important site is only one, and that is Harappa, which is in Pakistan's Punjab. Now let's see the most important site on the bank of river Indus. So here we will get to see four important sites. Number one, Mohanjudaro. Number two, Kort Diji. Number three, Chanudaro. And number four, Aladino. All these four sites are in today's Sindh and we all know that Sindh is in Pakistan. Now let us see all those sites which are situated on the bank of river Satluj. Here you have to remember only one important site and that is Roper. Roper is in India's Punjab. Apart from this, we get to see two more important sites on the bank of Gagar river and that is Kalibangan and Banavali. Kalibangan is in Rajasthan and Banavali is in Haryana. And there is one more important site which is on the bank of Bhogav river and that is Lothal. Lothal is in Gujarat. So we saw that there is a common feature in almost all sites that they were situated around some river. But there is also one important site on which this criteria does not fit and that site is Dholavira. It is located in run of Kutch. There is no river that passes from here. Now it is a matter to think that what would have been the mentality of the people living here. Because in those days if you want to do agriculture then water is needed for that. Water is also needed for the rest of the day. And at that time the most important criteria for any settlement was water. That is if the river is passing then the settlement can be nearby. And we all know there were no water tankers in those days. So it is matter to think that how people would have arranged water. Actually all the important sites we have covered in the map so far, we will cover all of them individually in more detail. And at that time we will also see about Dholavira that how these people would have arranged water. But there is one more question related to Dholavira. And that question is that when the rivers were attracting the people of other settlements, then what were the people here getting attracted to? So the thing is that this place itself was a treasure of raw materials like copper, shell, agate, carnelian, stellite, lead and many more raw materials were easily available. And the people here used to trade these raw materials to Mesopotamian regions. So by now you must have recognized that the people of Dholavira were Gujaratis. Well, there is another place near Dholavira that is Surkotad. This is also in Gujarat. And if seen in today's date, there is no arrangement of water even here. But it is said that in ancient times, a 750 meter wide river used to flow here. But now that river has dried up and become a stream. So whichever sites of Harappa civilization we saw here, we are going to cover them in detail in upcoming videos. But before that, it is important to know that Harappan civilization used to belong to Bronze Age, which means here bronze was used more. Bronze is constituted by adding tin and copper. That is, the people here used to melt copper and tin to make bronze tools, weapons and ornaments. One more thing, the sites of Harappan civilization can be categorized into three phases. Early phase, middle phase and later phase. We consider early phase from 2900 BC till 2500 BC. 
We consider middle phase from 2500 BC till 2000 BC and we consider early phase from 2000 BC till 1700 BC and most of the Harappan sites belong to this later phase. So this is just beginning of Indus Valley Civilization. In the next video we will discuss on town planning, economy, seals, scripts, languages, polity, religion, terracotta figuring, images of pottery and burial practices. You can download the PDF of this video from Bookstava app. To understand Indian history and Indian constitution in detail, do follow Bookstava playlist. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching Bookstava.